617 this morning. Trash, litter, garbage. Take a drive through Milwaukee. You'll see it. It's more visible than ever. Yeah, the lack of snow is highlighting the mess. Andrea Albers found one neighborhood that is paying well if you can help pick it all up. Yeah, I spent the day in this neighborhood, Haven Woods, stretching from Silver Spring to Good Hope Road. Here, they're offering $16 an hour if you're willing to clean up the streets. It's part-time work that can pay off in more ways than one. You might see a mess. But Kyle sees an opportunity to improve his city. That might be a small thing, but it's definitely something that I can, like, Put on my hat and say, all right, I did that thing today. Just a few months ago, he was burnt out on teaching and ready to take his career in a different direction. So he joined the Street Keepers. It's very different, and I definitely still feel very strongly about education. I will, you know, maybe someday return. But in the meantime, I'm getting a lot of time outside. I'm getting a lot of exercise. I'm able to do very visible good. And unfortunately, there is a lot to clean up. Here's an example. I'm at the edge of Haven Woods State Forest where the street keepers often find illegal dumping. Among the trash, Kyle has found a bit of treasure. This hat actually was something I found. I took it home and washed it. But the real prize is that this is designed to be a jobs training program for people who are eager to build their resumes. Although we'd love to see it full time at some point, it is part time Monday through Thursday. So that kind of leaves Fridays open for flexibility for people, whether they're job hunting, working on appointments, anything like that. Funding comes from Business Improvement District 31 and professional development is part of the workload with built-in workshops on topics like financial literacy and interview skills. We have had people that have gone through their HSED program and have earned their high school equivalency, which is fantastic. We've seen some people just gain some certifications that allow them to move into full-time work that comes with benefits, and those are the successes that we're really proud to see. A lot of good being done. Already this year, the Street Keeper crew has cleaned up 200 bags of trash, if you want information on applying to join the team, find this story on our website. They do put an emphasis on hiring people who live in the Haven Woods neighborhood. Andrea Elbers, TMJ4 News.